All right, week five college football breakdown here. Nice little Pac-12 matchup early afternoon. Oregon State coming off that gut-wrenching loss at home to USC. Uh, traveling to Salt Lake City and taking on the Utah Utes, defending Pac-12 champion. In Utah at home, as you might expect, 10.5 point favorites and a pretty standard total of 54.5. You know, th this is a really tough handicap for me. Um, on the one hand, I feel like Oregon State showed last week that they can compete with the upper echelon of the Pac-12. I mean, they got off to a really hot start to the season, but they can run the football and they stepped up defense. I mean, they made Caleb Williams look like a liability last week. Um, you know, did get run on a little bit by Travis Dye, but uh, I, I had a sprinkle on Oregon State uh, in that game. And I, I feel like they had every chance to win that game. The reality of it is, though, Chance Nolan, you, you can't throw four interceptions when you're stepping up in competition like that uh, and expect to come through. You know, I, I like Chance Nolan. This Oregon State offense, though, is predicated on having to establish a run game first. And I think Chance Nolan, once that run game is established, is pretty good in the play action game and more of a game manager secondary role. Utah's got a pretty solid defense. The, the one thing, though, is they lost a lot at that second level at that linebacker position from last year's team. I, I didn't love the way their defense looked against Florida. Uh, and really since then, they just haven't played anybody worthwhile. I mean, San Diego State is a terrible offense. Uh, and, you know, I, I wouldn't really say what Arizona State did last week is going to translate to what Oregon State does this week. So, you know, I, I do think there's a world where Oregon State can run the football. Um, it's a big if, though. You're going on the road and maybe the toughest place to play in the Pac-12 at Utah. Um, so it, it remains to be seen. I'm interested more so to see, not as much from a matchup standpoint, how does Oregon State respond off of that loss last week to USC? I'm interested to see if one loss turns into two here or if they bounce back strong. Utah offensively, it's very efficient. I don't think Cam Rising is much of a world beater as a quarterback, but got a lot of continuity within that wide receiver room. Those guys have, have gelled together really well uh, since Rising took over uh, last season. And, you know, Tavion Thomas uh, what was a thousand yard rusher a year ago, really efficient back. He's taken a little bit of a step back this year, though. I would expect the Utes to be able to establish a ground game here because even with Oregon State stepping up the way they did last week, Travis Dye still basically had his way with that defense. Oregon State, surprisingly, because they, their past defense stunk a year ago, they, they were really able to just kind of stymie Caleb Williams. So uh, I, it kind of remains to be seen about how they match up with this Utah offense. The, the Utes are efficient, but I wouldn't necessarily call them explosive offensively. And Tavion Thomas has taken a little bit of a step back. It makes me kind of question the offensive line. A little bit of a theme throughout this video. I, I kind of got more questions than answers about how these two teams match up at this point. Um, with, with all the the you know solid leans and plays I've already made here on this week five slate, I didn't even really consider this game. And you know I, I've had lots of action on these two teams since last year with a lot of these same uh, personnel, but I just don't have a great feel on this game. So um, you know I will say Utah is an incredibly tough place to play, and I do worry a little bit about how Oregon State's going to respond coming off that gut wrenching loss. So I, I guess maybe that's a lean towards Utah. Uh, at the end of the day, though, no really strong lean here. This is a game I'm going to pass on. Before we get out of here, guys, I know you've been staring at the shirt the whole time. If you're wondering how you can look as cool and sexy as me, let me tell you. Proud90.com, unique but very comfortable polos as well. They got t-shirts, hoodies, quarter zips, recently added a ladies line. Proud90's got all your golf apparel needs. Browse their selection. If you see anything you like at checkout, use code Fordham. It's going to get you 15% off your entire order. Check the description for more information.